looked like a pretty spirited practice out there today. You've had a, had a week and a half really to, to do that. Are you a coach that likes when you have this gap in the schedule because you got a lot to work on, or would you rather kind of kind of get a game going each week? Yeah, I, I think you like to get some fluency in your play, a bit of rhythm. Um, it's very early in the season, so there's plenty still that the group can be working on structurally, which we've taken advantage of in this last two weeks, or as you said, probably 10 days by the time we play again, it'll be two weeks. Um, we honestly haven't had an opportunity to get into a rhythm as yet, so I don't think it's been that disruptive. Um, I'm sure Ottawa will be feeling just as uh, disappointed. They've had two weekends without a game, so, you know, it can cause some difficulties, but I think at this moment, we're, we're good with the work we're getting through. There was stuff that I wanted to to try and offer up to the players and it's given us an opportunity really to focus in on it. What were, what were your focuses with the long gap between games that you really wanted to work on and improving? Well, if I, when I looked at the, the first few games, I mean, the first two at home mm -hmm. um, gave us, I think, a, an opportunity to possess the ball, to be in control, um, to look at some of the, the qualities that we have in maintaining the ball and working other teams over but it lacked some cutting edge. Um, it lacked, certainly in the second game against um, St. Louis, it lacked goal scoring moments. So a big focus in the last 10 days has been, uh, how, do we, how do we make that slight readjustment without affecting too much? Um, you know, the main bodies of work, what do we look like when we haven't got the ball? Well, I've been quite pleased and I think the players have too. What do we look like when we're in possession? It's been very decent. What do we look like when we're trying to create? And that's been the area that, that we really needed most attention. So whilst we've reinforced some of the other areas in the last 10 days, we haven't gone away from it. We've tried to layer in a little bit more of a, uh, a positive feel about our play um, and give us more of an opportunity to score. How big was that scrimmage uh, last week? Trying to figure out things structurally, trying to figure out formation and tactics that you kind of want to use going forward. I think as much for that as it was for one or two players that haven't seen a lot of playing time. Um, you forget that pre-season was a, a month gone by. Um, and before you know it, players that have had some good work, some good minutes, have, have not seen any productive playing time for a month. So uh, I think it was just as important for the competitive edge. And it's also, you, you can get plenty of work done structurally, I mean, phase work and, and some of the, 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 the practice sessions that we have, but nothing beats a game. You know, you see fatigue in players. What, what are their reactions? What are their decisions? Technically, working under fatigue, you know, do, you, do you lose a little bit of focus? Do your techniques let you down a little bit more? And all of those things, I think, are always good to be reminded of. The, the one thing I did want was to control it myself. So therefore we played against each other rather than another team so that I can be out in the middle and I can be talking as, as much of a training session it was a competitive game, of course. How big of an adjustment is it going from natural grass to turf like Ottawa does? And what are some of the differences? Are you a fan of uh, turf at all? Or I guess everybody prefers natural grass. I, I, I don't think any coach or player for that matter is a fan of turf. It, it's, it's unnatural. Um, you, depending on the quality of the turf, you get an unnatural bounce or you get unnatural movement of the ball. Um, it can do some strange things. And I think it has, certainly for teams that are playing on it regularly, it has uh, an unnecessary impact on the body and wear and tear. However, there's a lot of teams at our level that have turf, so we have to be adaptable. We've just come away from the, the New York Rebel game where we ran into a very similar situation. It makes the game a bit quicker. Um, and like I said, it can do some strange things to the ball on, on, on a turf field. So uh, I think just getting, getting in the habit of, rather than playing into areas, playing into feet, rather than um, you know trying to overplay too much where the ball does a couple of strange things, being a little bit more progressive with our work. Um, but ultimately, just seeing what the ball does and, and how different it is. You mentioned the wear and tear. Is it more on the knees, maybe more an effect on the knees and lower legs and maybe? I think it's just joints in general, your hips, your knees, your ankles. Um, you know, you, you're on a harder surface. I think there are some stats and some facts out there that tell us that uh, it, it does offer 
far more impact on the body than, than normal grass does. Uh, Vinny went out in the New York game. He didn't have an update immediately after the game. Do you know how long he's going to be out? Um, Vinny's, Vinny's got a, a, an ankle injury. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're, we're hopeful that we might see him in the next couple of weeks, but okay. it'll certainly be two weeks minimum. Um, you know, it could certainly be a little bit longer than that. The injury's reacting well. The swelling's gone down. Um, but with any ligament injury, you, you're subject to not just treatment on it, but obviously the ligament's healing, and then strengthening that area again before he gets fit and sharp. So there's a process involved when you have that type of damage. Um, fingers crossed, it'll be you know a short window rather than a long-term layoff. What have you had a chance to see on film out of Ottawa? Obviously, they've only played a couple games so far, but uh, what, have, what have you kind of seen out of their uh, team this year? Um, I've watched both of their games, and it's always difficult early on to try and work out what teams are doing until they get into a little bit of a, a, a rhythm and a flow. Um, but their coach is well organised. He's got, um, I think, an experienced group in the main there. I remember going up there last year and they've got quite a number of those bodies still around the group. And it was a tough task. They play their field well. Um, they, they manage the game very well and in most cases they'll want you to come and try and beat them however they certainly have players as we found out last year that are capable of uh, of being effective and bright in the attacking half of the field so there, there's an awful lot to consider about the group and they'll be confident they've not lost the game they've only had two but they'll certainly be looking to open up their season at home in a, in a positive fashion. So we, we've got a lot to contend with. We've got a tough run. Um, five out of six games away from home at any point in time is always tough. And uh, I, I don't think they come a lot, a lot more difficult than we're going to find this weekend. It's a tough journey. They're an experienced group and they're well organised. And they will take advantage of us if we're not on form.